Okay, good morning! I'm very excited today because I will be discussing with you our flagship product, Intra, the unique product feature, usage, and benefits. Okay, so to start, I am Global Marketing Director, Tina Perias, all the way from Lipa, Batangas. So, my, this, my topic is all about Intra. So, Intra contains 23 of the most powerful botanical extracts around the world. So, it is made in Canada. It is made of 23 herbs, uh, which includes alfalfa, aloe vera, astragalus root, bee pollen, capsicum, cascara bark, celery seed, chicory root, Chinese pearl barley, Chinese rose hips, dandelion, fenugreek seed, German chamomile, ginger root, juniper berries, licorice root, passion flower, pipsisewa, reishi mushroom, sarsaparilla, cisandra berry, Siberian ginseng root, and thyme. As you can see, it is made up of 23 botanical extracts. When we say botanicals, it does not only contain leaves, but it also contains the different parts of the plant, which is roots, leaves, berries, barks, and this is the actual food of our immune system. So the main reason why Intra was created was it is formulated in order for us to protect ourselves from body pollution. And one of the body pollution that pose a great or, or significant risk in our diseases, in our modern lifestyle is stress. So, ano ba yung mga sources ng stress? Overwork, sobrang dami ng work, walang pera, ano pa, family problems, yan. Yun yung mga na stress na nagkukos ng pagkakasakit ng mga tao. And uh, an ill member in the family. So, ito ba ang nangyayari sa katawan natin kapag tayo na si stress? So, dahil stress is a normal part of life, uh, Stress comes in waves. So, may moment na na stress ka, may moment na hindi ka may stress, chill-chill ka lang, may moment na ma stress ka ulit, then wala na ulit ikaw problema, chillax ka lang, relax ka lang, and ma stress ka ulit. So, this is the actual curve or the normal curve ng stress. So, as the stress levels increases, cortisol release increases. Kaya lang, dati yun. Dati kasi, uh, sa, normal, sa normal na stress level ngayon, hindi na bumabalik sa baseline ang stress natin. Lagi na tayo dito sa figure 2. Tingnan natin itong figure 2. Yung red indicates the stress na na-encounter na, na isang tao sa isang araw. So every day, ang daming stress na na-encounter. Work, family problem, uh, boss mo. Uh, mayroon pang other issues. So, yung stress level ng katawan natin, hindi na siya bumababa. So, dahil hindi siya bumababa, hindi siya nakakarating doon sa baseline, ano nangyayari? Our body tends to release stress hormones called cortisol. Na, supposed to be, yung cortisol na yun, marirelease lang yun during emergencies para makapag-cope up yung ating katawan sa emergency at makapag- Maka, magkaroon tayo ng resistance laban doon sa stress. Pero unfortunately, due to our modern living, nagiging tuloy-tuloy yung pagpuproduce ng katawan natin ng cortisol, meaning ang katawan natin, tuloy-tuloy din ang exposure to stress. So makikita niyo yung comparison ng figure 1 and figure 2. So, yan. So, dahil tuloy-tuloy ang production ng cortisol ng ating katawan, dahil stress ang ating katawan, ano yung mga ano, symptoms or side effects? So, mapapansin nyo, magkakaroon ng increased weight gain yung mga tao, especially dito sa part ng abdomen or stomach area. So, pag stress ng isang tao, ito yung unang-unang lumalaki sa kanya. A puffy or flushed face, yung puffy, puffiness, yung mamaga, lumalaki yung mukha mo, mood swings, yung iba-iba ka ng moods, uh, nagkakaroon ka ng increase anxiety, fatigue and poor sleep, hindi makatulog, laging parang pagod, uh, increase urination, 
irregular ang menstruation, nagkakaroon ng fertility problems, palaging may sakit, mataas ang BP, nagkakaroon ng tagihawat, uh, nagkakaroon ng mas malaking chance sa bone fractures and osteoporosis, laging masakit yung katawan, tapos nawawala ng gana sa sex, and nagkakaroon ka ng excessive thirst. So, ito yung symptoms na yung katawan natin mataas masyado ang cortisol level. So, anong nangyayari? So, pag tumaas yung cortisol level ng katawan natin ng tuloy-tuloy, ano yung magiging epekto nito? Dito nag-start magkaroon ng anxiety attacks or depression. So, pag pumunta ka sa doktor, may dalawang klase ng gamot na ire-reseta sa'yo, pero lahat ng gamot, basta synthetic, meron silang side effects. So, di ba, ang dami ng side effects. Pag napansin nyo, yung side effects ng benzo medications, ayan, uh, ipapansin mo, deplete your endogenous melatonin, deplete calcium absorption, umababa yung B vitamin levels ng katawan mo, which is kailangan mo yun para sa mga nerve, kaya parang humihina yung, yung paggrass mo sa isang bagay, nabibitawan mo yung isang bagay. Um, nerve aging, yung lagi nangingimi yung kamay mo. Then, benzo medications are ano, matagal bago matanggal ang side effect. It could take a year. And th this, these medications are highly addictive at may side effect siya sa cognitive, yung sa pag-iisip, palay kang inaantok, at delayed ang reaction time. Yun, yun nga yung nabanggit ko kanina, motor in coordination. So, on the other side naman, the side effects of antidepressants. One example of antidepressant is Prozac. Kung meron kayong kilala nagte-take ng Prozac, ito yung usual na side effect ng long-term use ng antidepressant. Sexual dysfunction, dry mouth, insomnia, strange dreams, headaches, dizziness, visual disturbances. Yung feeling mo parang lagi kang balisa, lagi masakit yung chan mo, nawawalan ka ng ganang kumain. Meron kang suicidal uh, tendencies and medyo nagiging violente ka. Yun yung mga nagiging side effects ng antidepressants. So, kung ayaw mo mag-take ng medications like benzo medications and antidepressants in order to achieve homeostasis or balance sa loob ng kat ating katawan para ma maka, maka cope up ka with stress, ano yung other option natin? So, that's, ito yung good news. So, kung ayaw mo ng benzo medications and antidepressants, my recommendation is for you to consume adaptogenic herbs, which is a better option. So, what is an adaptogenic herb? Ito pasok yung unique product feature ng Intra. Kasi Intra, uh, kaya ako napajoin dito sa business na to at napatake ng products na to, nung narinig ko na meron siyang adaptogens. Meaning, meron siyang capacity na mag-adapt to stress na kailangan ng ating katawan. So, out of the 14 adaptogenic herbs, Intra contains 6 out of the 14. So, meron siyang Eleotero root or the Siberian ginseng, Reishi mushroom, Licorice root, Astragalus root, Sisandra berry, and Aloe vera. So, ang galing, di ba? Anim na adaptogenic herb ang laman ng ating product, which is hindi mo to makikita sa iba-ibang supplements na available sa market ngayon. Um, most of the supplements nowadays contains only either one or two of these adaptogenic herbs. But Intra contains six adaptogenic herbs. So, adaptogens are natural substances that are non-toxic over long-term use. Ibig sabihin kahit matagal mo i-take yung products na yan, adaptogenic herb, hindi siya nakakasama, unlike doon sa medications or synthetic medicines, because it can generally help the body adapt to and cope with stress while helping to normalize other bodily processes. So, kung sa labas, sa, sa, sa doktor, binibigyan ka ng pain reliever, when you take adaptogenic herb or adaptogen, this is synonymous to a stress reliever. O, di ba, Bongga? Wala kang maiinom na Bili nga ng stress reliever na gamot, wala kang basta mabibiling ganyan. So, adaptogenic herbs help your mind and body allay the negative effects of chronic distress so common in our modern lifestyles. And because of this, they help you to stay healthy and live longer. 
So some of the powerful adaptogens found in intra includes yun nga, Siberian ginseng, reishi mushroom, sisandra berry, astragalus, licorice root, and aloe vera. So what are these adaptogens? Let's start by number one, adaptogens for exercise and weight loss. So kung gusto mong, uh, ang gusto mo ay magpapayat, maglus ng weight, ang adaptogenic herb na, na bagay dyan ay ang Siberian ginseng. Kasi based on study, Siberian ginseng can help to improve total oxygen capacity. So kung nag exercise ka at nagtitake ka ng adaptogenic herbs like Siberian ginseng, hindi ka madaling mapagod. Hindi ka mabilis kapusin ng hininga. So nai-increase din yung exercise capacity mo at saka yung leg muscle strength mo. So, sa diabetic naman, diabetic patients, Siberian ginseng is found to be beneficial for weight loss. So, kasi kailangan ng mga diabetics na mag ng weight kasi pag nag-lose, uh, pag tuloy-tuloy sila nag increase ang weight, mas madami ang, ang possible nila na complications. So, Siberian ginseng is also called the king of adaptogens by ancient Chinese herbalists. It is known for increasing productivity, helping the body contend with stress. So, kung meron kayong kakilala, whose life is full of long days of hard physical work that requires focus, Eleotero root or Siberian ginseng may be the perfect adaptogen for you. So, uh, example, you are a nurse, a doctor, a police. Basta yung madalas ka nagpupuyat, exposed ka sa mabibigat ng trabaho. Bagay na bagay sa iyo ang adaptogen na Siberian ginseng. The next one is adaptogen for stress. Licorice root. Licorice root is a powerful adaptogen for the ability to handle stressful situations in your body. Kung ang, ang katawan mo ay hindi nakakapag-produce consistently ng cortisol, kailangan mo itong adaptogenic herb na licorice para makapag-produce yung katawan mo ng cortisol. Kasi either way yan eh, meron taong sobrang dami ng production ng cortisol, meron din naman na hindi nakakapag-produce ng cortisol. So kailangan mo ng adaptogenic herb na licorice para makapag-produce ka ng cortisol in, in order to activate your uh, fight or flight response under stress. So, there are studies na in both humans and animals na licorice allows your body to make more cortisol under stress so that you can resolve the situation more quickly. Hindi ka natutulala, nakaka-respond ka kaagad sa mga emergency, sa mga stressful na situations. So, as one of the herbs for stress, ano ang trabaho ni licorice? It nourishes weakened adrenal glands, lowers cortisol level, and helps balance the immune system. Like all herbal adaptogens, its benefits extend beyond stress relief. Hindi lang siya for stress. Marami pa siyang ibang nagagawa. Like for fatty liver, diabetic, hypertensive the patients, and weight gain. These are just some of the main concerns. Um, licorice may be the perfect adaptogen to incorporate in your wellness routine. So next, adaptogens for longer life. Adaptogens for longer life includes astragalus. Astragalus is the only natural substance that contains cycloastragenol, a molecule that can lengthen telomeres by activating its production two to three times more. So, we discussed before ni Sir, ni Sir Paul Kramer about the telomeres. So, telomeres are found inside our cells. Araw-araw namamatay ang mga cells natin. Pero, kung matibay or mas mahaba as ang telomeres ng isang cells mo, mas matagal mamatay ang cells natin. So, yun yung ginagawa ni astragalus. Pinapatagal niya ang buhay ng telomeres para madelay ang cell death. And in effect, it slow down the aging process on a genetic level. So, kung ayaw mong tumanda, gusto mo always looking young ka, Astragalus is the best adaptogen for you. Astragalus is an excellent herb for strengthening the immune reservoir 
and rebuilding depleted endocrine and immunity activity. Immune activity. So, kaya pala yung intra, ang una niyang effect is cleansing, then uh, reactivating, and rebuilding, then maintain, main, maintaining. So, yun yung apat na stages ng pagtatrabaho ng intra sa katawan natin. And so, sa process ng rebuilding, ang nakakatulong pala sa atin ay astragalus. It supports cortisol production and has anti-inflammatory effects. So, this herb encourages good health and fight stress. Its active compound is called TAT2, which protects against aging, supports detoxification, and give proper nutrition for the kidneys. So, the next one is adaptogen for cancer. So, reishi mushroom, based on research, uh, is known to reduce tumor sizes and cancer prevention. So, particular cancer na natutulungan ni reishi mushroom is prostate cancer. It also helps protect the liver, it boosts the antioxidant levels, and has overall anti-aging benefits making it a powerful adaptogenic tonic to add to your cabinet. If your stress manifest or digestive distress, kung ikaw yung tipo ng tao na kapag na-stress, ay eh, palaging nasakit yung chan, kumukulo ang chan, ang tendency ay eh, nagda-diarrhea ka, nag lbm ka, then reishi mushroom is the best adaptogenic herb for you. Adaptogen for adrenal gland, si Sandra Berry and Aloe Vera. So, it helps the liver detoxify and supports the adrenal glands. Yung adrenal glands, ito ang pinaka nagtatrabahong glands sa katawan natin pag tayo ay nai-stress. Kaya may mga cases, maraming cases ng adrenal gland cancer. Ibig sabihin, sobrang stress na stress yung may katawan yung taong yun. Kaya ang kanyang adrenal glands ay sobrang pagod na pagod, nagkaroon na siya ng cancer. So, si Sandra Berry is a good adaptogen, adaptogenic herb for, uh, for adrenal glands because it strengthens the HPA axis and normalizes nervous system and immune activity. It also helps nourish and strengthen people who are weak or chronically fatigued. Yung mga taong laging nangihina at laging uh, parang pagod, yan. Bagay sa'yo ang si Sandra Berry. These berries have the added benefit of gently stimulating the central nervous system. So, kapag stress ka, ang pinakamahinang part ng katawan mo ay nervous system. Ang tendency, magkaroon ka ng ano, uh, emotional breakdown. Nag-lead yan sa insanity. So, kailangan mo ng adaptogenic herb na si Sandra Berry para ma-stimulate ang iyong isip and brain activity in order to enhance work, metabolism, cognition, and athletic performance. So, sa mga adults na may ADHD, yung sobrang makukulit, sobrang mga hyper, this adaptogenic herb is, can be helpful to them also. The next one is aloe vera. Aloe vera is also a, a, an herb found in Intra. It contains two active compounds, asimanan and aloctin A which supports immune and adrenal health. Diba? Ang ganda ng products. So, after we discussed the adaptogenic effect or the adaptogenic herbs, we now move on to the next unique product feature of Intra, which is synergistic effect. So, how come na there is, a, there is this bottle na 23 herbs or botanical extract na nagkakatulungan sila in order to support our body system. That's because uh, Intra contains a botanical also, which has a synergistic effect. Meaning, ng synergistic effect is relating to the interaction or cooperation of two or more organizations, substances, or other agents in order to produce a combined effect greater than the sum of their separate effects. Pwede naman na hiwa-hiwala yung 23 botanical extracts. But why is it na inilagay siya sa isang bote? Kasi mas maganda ang effect when they, when they are taken synergistically. Mas mararamdaman mo yung maximum effect 
kapag sila isabay-sabay mong iniinom. The particular herb that is a synergist is sarsaparilla. So sarsaparilla, in other words, it's thought that the saponins found in sarsaparilla increase the bioavailability and absorption of other herbs. So because of sarsaparilla, it's a unique herb. Siya yung, siya yung nakakatulong para mas maganda yung bioavailability and absorption ng 22 other herbs na laman ng intra. Diba? So, wala nga makukuhang uh, mas maganda pa sa intra. So, when intra, nutria, and fiber life are taken together, they are called better together. So, intra contains six adaptogenic herb, while nutria contain amla, which is also an adaptogenic herb. Combined with intra, you can be assured na pag tinake mo ang mga products na ito sabay-sabay, the ORAC uh, level of your body is dramatically increased. What is ORAC? ORAC means Oxygen Radical Absorbance Capacity. So, pa, the higher the ORAC, the lesser ang chances na magkaroon ka ng diseases, especially cancer. So, yun ang good news kapag sabay-sabay mo tinitake yung tatlong products na to. And, usage, intra, can take intra 30 to 60 ml per intake, duration as per needed. So, if you feel like masama yung pakiramdam mo, pwede mong inumin yung intra one bottle a day. Wala siyang overdose kasi it is considered as food. It can be consumed with or without food. While nutria, you can take two to four capsules per intake in three times a day. So, approximately 12 capsules a day. Some people even uh, take 24 capsules of nutria a day. And it should be taken with meal because kailangan ng nutria ng fat para siya ay maabsorb. Uh, next product is Fiber Life. Fiber Life is for weight management. So, two capsules, one to two hours before meal. For blood sugar control, one to two capsules during meal. And for one capsule, you need 250 ml of water in order to prevent constipation. So, yan. So, tapos na ako. So, hopefully, marami kayo natutunan with our product features, usage, and benefits. So, for more uh, uh, details, for more info, uh, you can watch the other videos about Nutria and Fiber Life. So, thank you and good morning.